All right. Well, hold on. We got we got we got a we got a we got an incoming call here. Okay. All right. Hello. You're on Corrosive Radio. Hey, Brandon. Yeah. This is Tommy Wiseau. How are you? This is who? Oh, to- Tommy Wiseau. Oh, hi, 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 Tommy. How are you? Okay. Are you guys doing interview or what's the story? Yeah, we're doing the interview. T- Tommy, can you call back on the other number I gave you though? Because you're calling in on the fan line. This is this is the line that the fans want to call you on. Okay, let me call you the other number. Okay, thank you, Tommy. Thank you. All right, so Tom, Tommy's gonna Tommy's gonna call right back. Tommy's gonna call right back in, and we encourage you to uh, call the line that Tommy just called in on. <laughs> Give that out yeah. for the people that That's were a 201-580-3712. Great. And, and people uh, that are fans of the room, fans of Tommy. Okay, hold on. A chance. All right. Tommy, how are you? Hey, how are you doing? We do, Brendan? We d- or yeah, Brendan. Oh, yeah. What's up? You tell us, Tommy. How you been, I man? <laughs> so how much time do we have? What's the story here? Tommy, it's, a, it's as long or brief as you want it to be. Well, you tell me. So, fifteen minutes or twenty minutes, or what do you want to do? Well, let's go. Let's go for you know as long as as long as we can until you get tired. Uh, I'm never tired. Well, oh, that sounds that's great. Good. That sounds perfect. <laughs> that's exactly what we're looking for. A guest with some enthusiasm. I mean, yeah, it's an no, honor to have you call in. Except I have limited time, so let's just uh, see how we do. Okay, I mean, and you'll head right. Uh, who is there, Brandon? And yeah, Will? Tommy. This is Brandon, and I have uh, with me in studio Dan Senior. How you doing? And uh, another big one, another big fan of yours. His name is uh, Billy. Say hi, Billy. Hi, Tommy. How are you? I'm a very big it's fan. Billy, Brandon, and who? Dan and Billy. Dan, Billy, Brandon. How are you? Good. We're good, Tommy. We. Were- but we want to know how you're doing. We want to know what's uh, what's coming up. You got you got more projects coming up, don't you? Yeah. Are you in the air or what? Yeah, Indeed we're on the we air. Are. Okay. Hi, guys. So, first, I'd like to say thank you all the fans who listen to your channel. Uh huh. So thank you for supporting the room. And you can always go to theroommovie.com and see your schedule about the screening of the room. Um, let's just move on with the project uh, with the with the uh, your your channel. So what's your question? Well, uh, I, I thought I thought uh, when we were talking through the email, I thought you wanted to uh, promote um, some of your projects, like foreclosure or the neighbors. Yeah, we are working on foreclosure right now. We do the casting, so so the uh, you know a work in progress at this time. But I'll be traveling. Uh, uh, you know, we celebrate 10th anniversary of the room. I don't know if you guys know about it. Yeah, we do. Oh, it's a okay, big deal. Cool. Absolutely, we're all fans here. Oh, thank you. So basically, what we do we we be travel across the country, celebrate. We have the big screen in North North Hollywood, and wow. we are going to uh, New York, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you can go to, like I said, the roommovie dot com and see the schedule, the next schedule. To respond to your question, what I'm doing, I do the foreclosure. It's uh, about economy. We'll be shooting within two months, and hopefully, we're releasing this uh, uh, this year. About the neighbors, uh, uh, we see what happened on the neighbors. So we, did, we I did complete the pilot, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Move on, next question. Well, regarding foreclosure, I'm curious: is this another dramatic piece, uh, or is this another sort of documentary film, such as uh, Homeless in America, or one of your past works? A documentary. Thank you for asking. So it's basically a feature movie related to, you know, uh, mixed up. Uh, the synopsis for closure will be actually within two weeks on the website, the so foreclosuremovie dot com. Okay. Long story short, um, it's it's a feature movie, and um, it's a SAG uh, sort of budget. Uh, and um, to respond to your question, what it's about is about uh, one of the characters. His name is uh, Richard. And bank uh, foreclosed his house by accident. You know, banks that do make money and then make mistake. Ha ha. <laughs> huh. So basically, that's what the story is about. You know, the it, they'll close foreclose his house and they make mistake. He tried to take over, you know, situation in his own hand and and uh, he's stomping down, but. Uh, that's the story. With that's why. That's all I can say. Sounds okay, yeah, but, but yeah, Tommy, I don't want. I don't want to ask you any more details about the story. But I, I do want to know what was the impetus, the uh, the inspiration for the story. Did the 2008 crash have anything to do with it? 
Absolutely, you know. I mean, um, in my house was not foreclosed. So lucky we can't come. But the, you guys probably heard a lot of the situation. It still is actually. It's it's not over. Uh, you know, whatever you you read in newspapers. I mean, I don't believe it too much. To be honest with you, because I know dozens of people that actually happened to you know the situation uh, that. Sort of is unpleasant because you know, as you know, uh, that's happened many people, and I think some of the staff that got the wrong information or wrong impression how to actually deal with the situation. Okay, sure, some sure. of close homes in America, as you guys probably know, I don't know if you heard your local newspaper probably talk about it, and all the media that they should not be foreclosed, you know, because people actually wanted to, uh, you know, change the law in a certain situation. And again, I'm not bashing to anybody. What I'm saying that the the consumer was not informed properly, if, if I may say, general speaking, because we have two different issues. One of the issues that the person is not qualified, the other issue you have in foreclosed any house, uh, if foreclosed, the bank do make mistake. Let's face it, that's the story. Okay. You know? Uh, the perfect example is, I don't know if you guys heard about it, that the, uh, you know, the bank have like, uh, I don't know which one, but it's online, you can check out the, the, the facts, that they have already pre-made signatures, so they did not review the case-by-case basis, you know, just say, okay, well, um, you know, you, you're not good to us, you know, whatever. Right. And so this is the movie what I created, I wrote already script about it, 90, 99 pages, yeah, the, the Richard by accident the bank make mistake because he 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 does the you know regular payments but they make mistake. Bottom line is you know. Oh, we so this isn't so this is something where it was purely a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> so move on the next topic. Uh, okay, well, okay, okay, Tommy. Um, I, but you may ask about anything you come to your brain. I'm okay, gonna, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you something, and I and I I'm pretty sure you've been asked this before, and you don't have to answer it if you don't want to. But everybody wants to know. We get a lot of emails on this. Where are you from? No problem. The what? What's your question? <laughs> we get people, people are curious about your the your sort of origin story, if you will. I mean, uh, origin. It, I mean, I'm American. Okay, move on. Next question. Fair enough. Okay. Um, okay. Now, I actually have a question for you regarding, uh, I understand some of your hobbies and some of your interests include basketball, so I'm curious if you follow uh, the playoffs at all, if you, if you follow the playoffs. Oh, yeah, I love it. Yeah, basketball, I love it, man. The, yeah. 40, uh, the, the Lakers, but, you know, as you know, some players, I don't want to talk about players right now, so. Oh, okay. Uh, but, by the way, uh, speaking about the origin, I grew up in Orleans, Louisiana. Actually, we have a groovy screening that was uh, in September. Sure. Uh, and, uh, you know, again, you know, my uncle has a house there, and actually he lost it in Katrina, if you want to oh, hear. Oh, wow, that's terrible. About my life, so you got it. Can you use that? Okay, move on, next question. Fair enough. Yeah, that's interesting. Now, you mentioned earlier about the room and how you, there's going to be this 10th anniversary screenings. There's going to be various screenings all throughout U.S. Yeah, so, that's so, what we are doing right now. The good, good question. David, right? O'Brien. This is actually Dan. Dan, I'm sorry, Dan. Oh, no problem whatsoever. I, I mean, it's just an honor to speak you know, to you. I have an accent that you have distinguished uh, uh, also uh, sound, so that's good for radio, I guess. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Listen, you're, uh, it, it, it's distinctive, and I think that's something that, that bodes well for you. My, my, absolutely. So to respond to you, so yeah, that's definitely, that's exactly what we're doing with the first screen you will have um, in, the, in the Westwood that was very successful. I think 800 people show up, whatever. The, the following screen we have last week, the over 800 people show up. It was sold down for screen. There was a NoHo, North Hollywood. We have regular screen action in these two locations. And then we go to Minnesota, I believe. You, you have to check the, the, the roommovie.com because we actually post already the schedule. Then we go to New York. We probably hit in your area, too, and, and other across the country. So we'll be celebrating... Um, and again, I want to say thank you all the support. Uh, thank you guys as well, and uh, and others. Now, so. let me ask you a question about these screenings, though, Tommy. Uh, I've been trying to get to a screening. Every time I try to go, it's sold out. So, uh, has has that always been the case for the past ten years? Well, yeah. No, well, majority is screening, yes, because the, I'm trying to attend as many. 
And, uh, you know, many screening I has been, because we screen usually once a month, different location, but across the country. So like, for example, Chicago, you have, you have regular screening they have once a month. Uh, New York has the, the uh, Washington DC and other. Again, you have to go to, to the, the website, you know, we have like, Across the world, actually, I don't know. You guys know we're very big. Uh, we just come back also from Paris, France, and as well. We have a big screening in London. We have over three thousand people, so we are worldwide right now. And Australia is very big for us right now. So a lot we have a lot of fans in Australia. Any Australian or any person listening, you guys. So uh, I would say thank you because you know, and people like to play football even in Paris, believe it or not. So. We're promoting American uh, football. <laughs> ah, very okay. good, very good. Okay. Tommy, wh what is chance we receive prequel? Prequel? 